Hello everyone, Mirko Guerrini here with some gift ideas for woodwind nerds. If you have a child or a friend that is playing a woodwind instrument, this video is for you. And the first idea I'm going to present you is a reed case. A reed case is really important to store your reed after you apply it uh, in a safe way. And I like this one because it has a dehumidifier inside this little bag which I explain later so after you finish playing you grab your reed and you store it here in a safe place uh, this holds up to eight reeds for any woodwind instrument I have some Kleinet, some alto and some tenor reeds here so I only need one box and I just put my name on top so no one can steal my reeds and yeah, this is a great idea and you know, especially cane reeds uh, in these days uh, when you finish playing, if you don't store them away, the next time you play the, the reed will be all wavy and it's hard to play. So this is also a nice way to enlong the life of the reed and you won't have to buy a new reed every uh, couple of weeks. So that was the first one. The second one will be the reed vitalizer, which goes, you know, together with the reed case. And it's this little bag here inside. As you can see, I just pulled it off from the reed case. And what it does, it absorbs the humidity that you left on the reed so that the reed dries up in a very natural way and as I said it will last for uh, much longer in this way. Right, third suggestion is saxophone strap. So this is uh, a bit tricky because there are so many products out there and uh, this is the one I like. It's made by Rico with a very simple a very simple way and idea to work you pull this up or down to make it shorter or longer and uh, I like this one hook snap this makes me feel very very safe because you grab the saxophone and you hook it and it will never fall on the ground right sometimes uh, you can buy different ones like this is the same model but it has like a simple hook and I don't think this is too safe because the, the hook can easily unhook the saxophone and then you might think the saxophone is safe and you let it go and it goes on the floor but there are some other options like uh, one that I really uh, enjoyed especially with heavy instruments like tenor or berry saxophone is the Neotech and this is a bit elastic so it absorbs the weight of the instrument and like if you play the tenor for example and it has a hook as well a hook snap and you feel you see it's a bit elastic which for some people can be annoying because you always have to you know, regulate and the mouthpiece is uh, going away from you but especially for a young kid this could be a cool solution and the Neotech is also producing some kids neck strap which is much much shorter than the other one that I showed you so it means that you know this would be good for a kid playing alto saxophone and it's very comfortable this one and if you are into you know new things and new ideas um, it has been a while now that there is this company called Jazz Lab that is producing sax holders that looks like a, <laughs> I don't know a, a hospital gear or a doctor gear but you put it like that and the good thing here is that you can adapt the curve of these two shoulder uh, holders uh, to, to your body basically and it has this bit here that goes against your tummy so it unloads the weight of the saxophone in a very even way and 
it, it really works. I'm using this a lot. Again, for tenor saxophone, especially because playing is it's like a I don't know halving the weight of the saxophone. So it's really a great idea, and you know, it falls, and this beat can can go lower. So you you can really adapt to your own body, and it's really nice. And the next one will be saxophone stand. Even here, many, many products, I'm going to uh, present you with the ones that I use or I've been using. Uh, this one is called Saxi, and all the links, of course, of these products will be in the video description. This is the Saxi uh, stand, which is a pretty cool design. You know, very, very, um, smart in this idea because it works like a tripod but it's completely foldable I will show you so you put the saxophone like that and it's really safe guys I've been using this for 15 years now and never fell the saxophone to the ground right the saxophone is there and even if you bump into the saxophone you see it can tilt a little bit but it never goes on the floor and the other thing that i really love is this thing here and i used to joke with my students i call it a ninja weapon this one uh, it folds up like this it comes with a very nice bag and you put it inside the bag you close it and it goes straight into the saxophone bell. And you put the saxophone away, and there it is, you always have it. I use it a lot, as I said, I have the same one for the tenor. And especially for you parents that have a, a kid that is practicing and, and studying saxophone, this is a great idea to improve their practicing time because sometimes for saxophone players it's a little bit of a drag off if you have to set up the instrument every time you want to play and you have to put the rhythm mouthpiece and the saxophone out and prepare everything and it can be oh i only have 10 minutes so i i uh, it's not worth it doing it but if you have a saxophone stand and the saxophone is there right in your kids bedroom for example you have 10 spare minutes and there is a high chance that uh, your child will go to the instrument and, and see the instrument oh i can play I can play for 10 minutes i have suggested to to buy a saxophone stand to my students and some of them told me that actually uh, they went from playing one time every two days to playing like twice a day because the saxophone is just there. So that is a cool idea. If your uh, kid is playing soprano, you can buy this one. This, uh, this one is a soprano saxophone holder. Same idea. It goes like this, and you store it together with a saxophone in the case. So again, this, very handy and you can leave your saxophone there it is safe look how wide is the base right and there you go the saxophone is there and it's very very sturdy and stable uh, there are other models like this one called tripod this is a double stand for an alto and a tenor and you know, the concept is very similar. The only thing I keep this at home because it's not as foldable as the saxy one. Uh, but this, this is very handy to have the two saxophones next to each other, you know, and you know, one for alto, one for tenor, so they will be there. So all the links and descriptions will be, of course, in the uh, video description. So let's keep moving. And the next one will be 
mouthpiece patches. So again, this is something that sometimes students don't, don't use or they are not told to, to use, but I think um, students can benefit a lot. I'm talking about these patches that you put on top of your mouthpiece and all my instruments have it because it helps to absorb the vibration so the uh, you don't get any more a weird feeling when you play that your skull is vibrating or your teeth are vibrating and a lot of kids in these days are wearing braces and it can be very uncomfortable if the vibrations are really high so uh, you can buy again there are many many different models there are like some clear ones this is a transparent, very thin, which is this model here, mouthpiece called mouthpiece cushions, or a little bit, you know, uh, thicker. Uh, but whatever you want to buy, it will be nice and it will improve, you know, the feeling and the experience on uh, your uh, students' playing. So there are many models, like thinner, thicker, right? You simply choose whatever you think is suitable for uh, the person you are going to buy this for. And uh, the next one, number six, very, very important, cleaning the instrument. This is super important. It's a phase that um, will uh, enlong the life of your saxophone, the life of um, the pads on your saxophone and will lower the maintenance required on your instrument. So what I like to use is, for example, to clean the body of the instrument. You can buy one of these, which goes straight into the instrument and it provides with like a body cap so you store it with this one inside your instrument uh, if you want to give the instrument a swap you can buy like one of these this is a common tool for saxophone players you know it's a like a cloth and it's attached to a cord basically and there is a little weight here at the top so you put the weight from the top here you drop the weight to the bottom you turn the saxophone upside down and the weight comes out the bell and you pull and in this way you know you can remove the mold you can remove the humidity a little bit of saliva that is being left over and so you avoid building up a big communities of bacteria for example <laughs> and as I said you can lower the maintenance required because your pads will last for longer and once you have cleaned the body you can clean the neck and you can buy a neck cloth right which is much shorter with a shorter cord and you put it here inside and you pull right same concept and I do this a lot because in the past I had the neck of the saxophone cracking here on the sides because I never cleaned it and it, it the, the saliva the, the humidity corroded the metal inside and I almost lost the neck so uh, I was so scared and I started cleaning my neck every single time I finished playing and the other thing uh, that you can have is a mouthpiece cleaner now uh, the mouthpiece is also very important because otherwise there are some sediments that will form inside the mouthpiece so you can use the neck cloth for the mouthpiece as well it's not a problem like this or you can buy a mouthpiece cleaner which is like the same concept. It's a spring, there is a sort of brush or a puffy cleaner on the other hand, on the other end, and you simply do the same, right? 
just clean the mouthpiece like this and or you can even use it on the neck that's the same concept here right so again several different ideas but all very efficient and very important as well as when the pandemic hit all of us uh, in, in schools we started using a steri spray a steri spray is a product that is specifically designed let me see whether i can make it <laughs> okay there is a bit of uh, glare but um it it's it says no rinse formula and it's designed for cleaning mouthpieces. So what I like doing here with my mouthpieces, I use the steri spray after almost every time I play uh, or every couple of times and I spray the steri spray on the mouthpiece and then I use a tissue to simply dry out and my mouthpiece will be sterilized. You know, and this is important as well because sometimes again we are using our mouth and a lot of saliva is going there is staying there so we don't want to grow any you know bacteria that then can cause I don't know a mouth infection or uh, nothing terrible but you know it would be uncomfortable so it's a good idea to sterilize your mouthpiece um, like at least a couple of times a week if you, if you play constantly and you know it will be sterilized you store it away and you will be safe great that was our seventh idea our last idea is uh, a precision screwdriver set something like this very cheap but very handy so you know in the saxophone you have a lot of different screws uh, that are holding up like these bars and the keys together and very often um, a screw can can slowly come out and after a while you, know, you will find a key in your hands and you, you don't know what happened so we always need to visually check if all the keys are in place and you will notice if not because the key the the, the screw is coming down or out to the side and then you can simply use one of these screwdrivers and I like these ones because they are super thin so sometimes you have to go inside you know and reach a very you know narrow space so it's important to have uh, a small screwdriver and you simply you know screw back uh, in the screw that came out and uh, the very very last thing I want to talk to you about it's also super important uh, and your your children can tell you that sometimes they have some keys that are getting stuck traditionally the G sharp can get stuck you see that if I push down it sort of opens with a delay right so it's very easy to fix that you buy a very thin sandpaper sheet this is like 320 very very thin and you scratch the metal part of the hole so don't don't scratch the skin or the pad but you insert the sandpaper inside and you pull and you do it like three four times and it won't be sticking again till the next time but at least if you have to play a concert a gig or just practicing you can do that and you know not have any issue so thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed this video and few ideas please keep support your friends or your children that are practicing and studying a woodwind instrument we need more clarinet and saxophone players out there thanks everyone and merry christmas to everyone